first additional feature of the S Pen is pressure sensitivity. So uh, there's 128 different levels of pressure sensitivity. And the best way to demonstrate this is if I go into S Memo and I set it to the painting, um, I set it to do painting, um, what I can do is I can adjust the pressure and you can see how it affects uh, what I'm actually drawing. So if I start off applying quite a lot of pressure, uh, you see it's quite thick, quite a thick line. And as I as I re reduce the amount of pressure that I put onto onto the uh, onto the screen, you see it's gradually getting more and more faint, right? Um, uh, let's do, let's try and use very little pressure here. So you see here it's much darker um, than down here, where I'm actually using a lot less pressure, and that's actually the pressure sensitivity. Again, I can demo that using the pen. Um, Okay, so I can use a lot of pressure, or I can be a bit lighter on the touch. And you see here, up at the top of the L, for example, we've used less pressure at the top of the L, and we've used more pressure at the bottom of the L, and you see it's actually thicker at the bottom. And that's where the, pre the pressure sensitivity comes in. So the S Pen is a tip, and then when I actually press onto the screen, it, this is detecting the amount of force that I'm using, and it's supporting that back. Uh, to the touchscreen using this inductive technology. So there's 128 different lev levels of pre pressure sensitivity. Now, if I'm using the S uh, if I'm using the capacitive stylus, it makes no difference how hard I press. Like, you know, all this does is it it does exactly the same as a finger. So, you know, in the same way I can use my finger, I can also use this capacitive stylus. Now, it doesn't matter how much pressure I'm using. So now I'm doing really light touch, but it still makes the same thick. Um, it's the same thick red line, you know, it makes no difference because, you know, this doesn't have technology built in for the pressure sensitivity. The additional things you can do with the S Pen, for example, be able to use this, the button, holding the button down to do screen capture or the screen gestures, for example, doing that uh, for menu, doing that gesture for back um, or, you know, to open up S Memo Lite. That kind of thing you can't do with a normal capacitive stylus. Um, either. Finally, let's go on to a bit about um, about palm rejection. So the Galaxy Note has technology built in that you know if say I'm writing some notes or something, I can actually rest my palm on the screen and that's fine and that doesn't actually affect you know what I'm drawing. So you can see I'm now going to uh, just going to change the pen back to uh, well make it much thinner. Let's put it about here. And I'm going to just write hello uh, on the screen. So you see, I'm actually resting my hand on the screen. And you see, it's not actually made, it's not left a single mark at all, but I managed to write hello. Now let's try to do the same thing with the capacitive stylus. So I'm going to put my hand on the screen and I'm going to try and write hello. And you see, actually, well, now it's not, it's not actually working. Um, it's not writing anything. Now what I've got to do with a capacitive stylus is actually I can't put my hand on the screen. Um, I have to keep it off the screen, and then I can can write hello here. So the benefit, the first benefit, I guess, of the S Pen is um, you know you can write a lot more naturally. You can rest your palm onto the screen whilst you know whilst you're um, you know, whilst you're writing. So how does that work? Well, first. If you've got, uh, if the S Pen is on the screen, what the system will do is it'll automatically reject um, the capac any capacitive touch. So you know, if I've got, I put my S Pen down here, and you see, I'm actually now I'm touch, I'm using my finger to touch the screen, and that's actually doing nothing at all. So the um, the inductive part of the display, so the S Pen part is actually you know automatically rejecting um, the the normal capacitive touch screen. It doesn't do anything. So that's um, you know, because they use different technologies, you, you can do that with S Pen. Um, if you're using the same technology for both, so now I'm going to put my capacitive stylus on the screen, and I'm going to actually just move around with my uh, with my other finger, and you see it's actually now it's doing touch, um, essentially pinch to zoom, um, because you know it can't tell the difference between this stylus and um, you know and, and my finger essentially. Um, so I guess you know this is really the the benefit of the S Pen, is that with the S Pen, first benefit is is pressure sensitivity. Uh, the second benefit is palm rejection. So being able to put your hand on the device and to be able to write, that's no problem at all. Um, 
that's no problem at all with the S Pen. I guess the third benefit is the having the S Pen button um, and being and pressing that button down means you can do lots of extra features such as you know hold the screen capture um, and then once you screen well, obviously once you've done screen capture um, then you can do your you know you can annotate on top of the screen capture and so on. So uh, yeah, so there's that's that's the difference between the S Pen and a capacitive stylus.